Hey guys, it's Vita from Honest and Tasty. I am making a coconut cake. This is such a classic cake. I like my classic cakes. I love my coconut cake. It is so creamy and heavenly and just so fluffy. And there's pastry cream between the layers. It's actually easy to make just a few steps because we're making frosting, we're making a cake batter, and we're making the pastry cream. Let's get to it. It is so good. We'll begin by greasing two cake pans with some butter, and then just fit some parchment paper to the bottom of the pans. Then I just grease the parchment paper and lightly flour both pans, getting rid of any excess. To start off the batter, I'm just cracking six eggs and adding the whites only. I'll still keep four of the egg yolks for later when I make the pastry cream. Then I'm adding a cup of whole milk, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and then whisk until fully combined. To a large mixing bowl, I'm just preparing the dry ingredients now. You want to add two and a fourth cups of cake flour to the bowl. Now if you're like me and you only ever have all-purpose flour in your kitchen, no worries. All you have to do is for every cup of all-purpose flour, replace two tablespoons of it with two tablespoons of cornstarch, and that's it. You have cake flour. Then I'm adding one and three-fourths cups of sugar and four teaspoons of baking powder. I always use aluminum-free baking powder. Then a teaspoon of salt goes in and give it a mix. I'm just cutting up some softened butter here and then I'm going to add that straight into the bowl. I'm going to use a spatula next to help incorporate the butter before using a mixer on low speed to completely combine everything together, scraping down the sides of the bowl from time to time. Then I'm adding in half of the wet ingredients, mixing that in on medium speed until incorporated. And then adding in the remainder of the wet ingredients and mixing that in for about another minute. I like to add in about three to four ounces of unsweetened coconut flakes. And then gently fold that right into the airy cake batter. Add the batter evenly into both cake pans and then stick it into the oven that's already been preheated to 350 degrees. It'll take about 27 to 30 minutes or until a fork poked into it comes out clean. While the cake is baking in the oven, in the meantime, we are going to start making the pastry cream that's going to go between the layers, the nice coconut pastry cream. I'm adding 3 fourths of a cup of coconut milk to a saucepan, which is nothing more than the result of coconut flakes that have steeped in water and given all their coconutty flavor. Then 3 fourths of a cup of whole milk, and then half of a vanilla bean sliced and scraped to get all those vanilla seeds, and you just throw that right in. Give it a whisk and heat it on low. Place one third of a cup of sugar to a bowl and add in the reserved egg yolks. Then three tablespoons of cornstarch go in two. Give it a whisk until it forms a paste. And then use an electric mixer while adding in the hot milk mixture little by little. Then add it all back into the saucepan and whisk over medium heat until it starts thickening and bubbling. And you have your custard. Then place some plastic wrap up against the custard so that it doesn't form a skin and cool it in the fridge or freezer. So now that the cakes are ready, we're just gonna let them cool at room temp for about 10 minutes before I flip them over onto a cooling rack to get completely cool. In the meantime, let's get to the frosting. We're starting out with two sticks of softened butter and two teaspoons of vanilla, then seven cups of powdered sugar, seven tablespoons of whole milk, and a fourth a teaspoon of sea salt. Give it a mix until fluffy. I'm just very quickly toasting up three ounces of coconut flakes for the frosting over medium low heat while continually tossing them around until they just start to turn golden. Now I'm going to make the pastry cream filling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that custard that we made, it's cooled, it's right in here, and I'm just going to add some heavy cream to it. And it's just gonna make it nice and airy and 
beautiful. Add the custard and three-fourths of a cup of heavy cream to a bowl and give it a mix until it's nice and airy. So before I put my layers of cake onto the cake stand, I put some parchment paper around the edge of the cake stand so that when I put my cake on there and start frosting it, it doesn't make a mess because I can just easily remove the parchment paper after I frosted it and it will be perfectly clean. And the frosting acts as a glue that binds these pieces of paper together. Cut the cakes evenly in half and layer the slices with the custard, not going all the way to the edges. Then frost the entire surface of the cake with the buttercream frosting and sprinkle on some of that toasted coconut. And it is ready for me to consume and enjoy. And you can just see the cream running through the layers and it's so, that custard, oh my goodness. Uh, Take a taste, I got you. Mm. I don't know what to say other than you need to be making this cake like now. Tonight, maybe, go get the ingredients, go on my website, Honest and Tasty. The recipe is also down below in my description box. But if you go to my website, you will also find other cake recipes um, from before I started making videos. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you next time with another recipe. Bye-bye.